Inkybee is a really useful blog outreach tool. We can use it to locate the blogs that have influence regarding any particular topic, niche, or vertical. A good place to start is by going to lists. As you can see, I already have some lists created, so I'm going to click on my collaborators. These are bloggers that I've worked with for a long time. And you can see on this page that you can see their blog, details on their Twitter and their Facebook, their location, audience, engagement, posts per week, days since last post, inbound links, this is their Twitter followers, their Facebook friends, their Moz rank, their page authority, and their domain authority. Each of these columns is sortable, so you can click on Moz rank, for example, and see the, them in Moz rank order highest to lowest or lowest to highest. You can also click on the same thing for their domain authority and see the highest to lowest in domain authority. But what's really useful is what you can do to keep track of your interactions with various bloggers. Well, let's go to my blog details to, so you can see what's available. So the first screen you'll see is social accounts and you'll actually see clout scores and cred scores, number of friends, friends are the people that they follow, and followers, the people that follow them. You can actually follow them from this tab. You can like their, their uh, Facebook page from this tab. You can also put their LinkedIn profile in and um, their G Plus profile. Blog Contacts allows you to enter the names of the people that you know at that blog. So if you had a blog that had multiple authors, you could add a new contact and create one for each person. You can add their first and last name, their email, the phone number, even an address, their Twitter. Um, it could be that the blog has a Twitter account, but this person has a separate Twitter account. That's pretty common. Blog Metrics is a snapshot of their blog metrics the same thing that's available on the chart the table at the beginning tags gives you a really good idea of what exactly this blog writes about most often like you could actually see immediately that grow map usually writes about small business social media twitter blog outreach that kind of thing um, related blogs would pull in a blog role if you had one um, I'm actually surprised that this is pulling in anything because uh, Google pretty much killed off blog roles um, recent posts, you can see the latest post that that blog has published and what date it was published. So you can instantly see what they're, what they're publishing on, what the titles were. You can actually click through and see the post. You can make notes. Now this is most useful when you couple it with the relationship tab. On the relationship tab, you can click that you followed them and it'll automatically date stamp that you followed them on Twitter. If you, if you comment on their blog, you can click commented there. You can click that you retweeted them. And so this keeps track of how often you interact with that blogger. Now what I like to do is I like to notice, notify the system that I commented, then I'll make a note. And you can actually type in this space um, that you commented on the blog about Blogger Mastermind, for example. You can make this as short or as long as you wish, and when you enter it, it will automatically date and timestamp it for you. So you have a record of who you commented on when and where. Um, status tells you whether their blog is up or not. You can actually reprocess it in case the system thought the blog was down the last time that it ran the numbers and you can instantly see which lists that blog is on and actually remove them from any lists so I, I'm actually on multiple lists that I've created and I can see which of those other lists that blogger is on the good news about this is that if I make notes I'll be able to see those notes from every list now the way that you can find blogs if you don't have a list of blogs to start with you can add them here if you actually have a list. All right, so let's say that we didn't have a list. We wanted to add a discovery job. We would type in a keyword phrase that we wanted to use to find more bloggers. And so, um, for example, I might look for the Comet Love bloggers because I'm big on Comet Love. 
and I would say yes that's what I want to search on and done and their system will go look for blogs that mentioned comment love so you can look at your discovery jobs that's actually to, to create one I'm gonna to go to another list I hope <laughs> where I've actually run some discoveries and see if we can find find some discoveries recently okay I'm just gonna pick one that's small and look at discovery results and so this is the, these are the keyword searches I put in the day that I initiated them when they're gonna run you can turn it off or it'll keep running every six hours looking for more blogs that wrote about this particular band and so when you click on that keyword search it'll take you to a page that shows you all the blogs it found that have written about that particular phrase and you can immediately see you have a relevancy number an audience and engagement and you can add them to the list or you can check off several of them and then click add selected and so this is your original search results you pick out the ones you want to put on a list and when you put them onto your list then that's when their system runs all the other metrics for you the metrics that I showed you originally and so this is a great tool for bloggers because we can find each other we can make notes and what I plan to do with it is I actually have a comment love blog list that I've been working on it's got over 200 comment love blogs on it I'm gonna scroll down and find it there it is it's got 204 on it right now and so what I want to do is I'm gonna use this list to go out and interact on all my comment love community blogs and keep notes about when I've commented now what I hope to do I will I will make sure I add their Twitter and their Facebook LinkedIn and G plus if it's not in there already so that if a brand is looking for blogs everyone that I collaborate with will have all their details in there and they'll definitely pop up when other people are looking like right now let's say this brand this blog might have a huge Facebook following but since it's not already in there it won't pop up in searches of someone looking for brands that have a big Facebook following when they search for Facebook that one would be on the bottom and so I'm gonna help my fellow bloggers out by adding their details into my lists then I'm going to use their blog details to go note when I interacted with them I will go out there and click on the the um, left to comment button it's under relationship and leave myself a note now I've talked to the people that developed this tool and I've asked them to create a visual indicator that will appear out here that shows us how long it's been since we commented so I'm hopeful that they'll be able to develop that and then we could actually just pull up a list of even 200 or more blogs and instantly see which ones we haven't commented on recently so we can go out and revisit them so the primary purpose of this tool is to do blog outreach I mean so they have campaigns and I'm going to show you a campaign that they use as an example it's a Star Wars Lego campaign that was created by Fourth Metrics. This actually shows you that they had 28 blogs that they chose, that 100% of them they have reached out to, 54% of them are already engaged, they have 34 published posts for this campaign, and these, this is a different view where you can see the status of how much interaction they you've had with each blog the full blog details are available right there um, you can spit out your blog contacts you can do blog notes you can change this to the other view that we saw previously the tabular view this is the tabular view and I fell out of it somehow I'm gonna go back in okay so you can go to the tabular viewer you can have this view which they call the um, boxes view you can actually create a relationship report this is a PDF or you can create a campaign report and you have a choice of PDF CSV or Excel file and so you can actually do a blog outreach instantly create a campaign report for your client and this is just a great tool now one thing I want to tell you is this is very affordable anyone can use this tool it starts at only nineteen dollars a month 
Their only other competitor is Group High, and last I heard, Group High was going up to $7,500 per year for one user, where this tool is, is only $19. And I think that goes up to 119 I believe, is the, the highest cost. They have very intuitive page help. It pops right up for you. Now my only trick is knowing how to close it. Ah, there we go. Now this is also kind of cute. They have a full screen browse. So if you have a list of bloggers, you can click on full screen browse and it will actually let you tab through the blogs. Now this takes quite a while to load sometimes because it's actually loading all the blogs on the list so the bigger the list the longer this may take but you can actually pull up a blog and see all the numbers right here you can search for posts or tags you can take it off your list or leave it on your list and you can tab through them so you can go from that blog to the next blog to the next blog. So you can instantly look at them, remove blogs you don't like, uh, keep the ones that you do like, and come up with a really honed list of exactly what you want. So this has been an overview of Inky Bee. I find it really useful. I'm trying to figure out how to, how to leave this and get back to our lists. Maybe there. So anyway, this is an overview. I love this tool. Uh, they do have an affiliate program if you'd like to recommend it to your fellow bloggers or your clients. Um, it pays 10% of what they pay for the first year. And so I encourage you to spread the word about this. Um, really great tool. Does almost everything that Group High does, but for a very small fraction of the cost. I use this every day. I really love it. If you want some insights into how to use it, or you'd like a tour, or you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I'm GrowMap on Twitter. That's at GrowMap. Uh, if you go to Skype and you search for GrowMap, I'm the only one. You can send me a message on Skype, and I'll be happy to help you get started using this great tool.